We cleared our streets, we got out the garbage, we, uh, we aided our children, our sick children, we gave food to each other. We know we have this potential and this spirit in us to fight and to resile even in a state of chaos and downfall. So what's the next step? It was really prob uh, problematic because, you know, I, I believe, for, for example, in my community, they will just give the extra mile when, uh, until it's needed. So they're not very ambitious to keep on moving forward and fighting against this problematics that go beyond Hurricane Maria. So as a youth, I find in myself, how can I um, reach or approach uh, fellow youth or adults, elderly, and, and everyone in my community to take the next step? They have the power to change our society. We only have to fight for them, um, for their voices. We have to make the road so they can, you know, like with all their, their strength and, and do what they have to do. Um, Veralis is just an example. She's a powerful young woman. And she's a, an example of the courage of our teens, of our youngs, of our kids in our community. They, they want to do something different. They want to, they only, they only need the, the opportunity. They, they're gonna, you know, like they're gonna do a great things. I know. Five years from now, this is going to be different, and that's that's what I see for, for for our teens, for our youngs, and all over the country. We, I have, I have hope for them. Puerto Ricans are known for being resilient. When you look at young people, I mean, you, I have to say, it's resiliency at its best. Um, our people are still wanting opportunities. They are engaged with the opportunities that we're providing them. Uh, they're looking for new things to do. They're looking for avenues to get their success. They're looking for avenues for growth. Um, and I think that what this situation has brought to the table and has showed them is that, you know, we can become, we can come out stronger from the situation. And I think that's what you see in our, in our youth population right now. What are your thoughts about what the club has done for you? It has been mind-blowing and it's difficult to think in a few years I may part away from them but they will always be with me in my knowledge in the way I am so it's not like I'm gonna lose them forever and if I can help them in some way in the future you know if I become rich you never know I can make money I can make investments like a lot of people are doing and like we're getting some people to do because helping them in the same way they help me help and help them help some other people that's a lot of helps and you know just be part of them even though i'm not with them <laughs>